a lot of people wanted to know about your modifications. First up, the belly button. Like, how do they get rid of the belly button? What's the process? Um, well, the process for me was I was laid out on... It was not in a tattoo studio. Um, I was laid out on a tattoo bed. Um, I was cleaned down. They put iodine all over my stomach. Like yellow stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then they cut it out. <laughs> I wasn't really watching that much yeah. of it. I was more worried about, like the guy doing it sweat dripping into my open belly button so I was like on dab patrol <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah. it was all very like don't worry it was all very yeah. sanitary but I was just like more interested in keeping it sanitary rather yeah. than like wigging myself out with what was going on yeah. down there but um as far as pain went it was fine um and as far as healing went it was one of the easiest things I've had to heal um, compared to like, other modifications that I've had. What has been the most difficult one heal-wise then or the most painful one? My ears. Yeah. So how do they do the ears? Um, they, it's basically just like they re-sculpted the whole top of my ear. Yeah. Um, I'm not, again, not really sure how he did it. It was about two hours each year. Yeah. So I was, re and like um, the person that did it, we were doing it late night at a, uh, a friend's tattoo shop and it was about midnight and I was pretty over it after the first year um, getting any procedure done though is mind over matter for me and I can always get through it I get a bit tired and a bit like I can get a bit like a four-year-old child at the end if I don't have like some sugar yeah. but um, I'm usually fine through all procedures because I prepare myself for it but I'm too busy mentally preparing myself for the procedure that I never prepare myself for the healing and it's something that I always like have to tell myself to learn from each time and I never do. But um, the healing for my ears was really harsh, yeah. Can you tell me like, how tattooing your eyeballs is different from any other tattoo in terms um, of the process? Yeah, it's done completely differently. It's not done with a machine or anything like that or even a tattoo needle. It's done with a syringe, so a really fine like insulin needle. The needle's probably about the same thickness as a strand of hair. And they just, um, they put that under the layer of the white of the eye, the sclera, and they inject the ink between that layer. And so the ink just sits in between the layer. <laughs> You're right, I'm gonna fall off the chair. Um, it just sits in between the, the layer um, and just, yeah, it slowly moves around a little bit, but not that much. Like, it's not like a tattoo that settles in the skin. It's constantly moving, like a really slow lava lamp, if you will. Yeah, um, and that's it really. I had it. I had a couple sessions over a couple of days because um, I found it really quite. It wasn't a pain thing for me. Um, it wasn't painful because there's no nerves in your eyes. Like, uh, you, it makes your eyes a bit itchy and it, like they sting a little bit, um, like being jabbed in the eye. But um, apart from that, it's just a control thing where it's terrifying because yeah. it's like focus on this but don't move because if you do we'll perforate your eyeball and you'll probably go blind and it's like no biggie <laughs> okay oh so go really sweaty yeah, just no, thinking about that flashbacks was making me sweat um it was one of the most terrifying things i had to do and i'm really glad that i did it because it was like something that i really wanted to accomplish because something that i've always wanted to i've always had in me is like i like to push my physical boundaries as yeah. much as possible and I like to see how far I can go like how far I can take things and how much I can handle yeah. like maybe it's I've got like, I'm not a competitive person in any way but maybe I'm just a little bit competitive with myself yeah. um so that for me my eyes was like a big deal on it, the bucket list so. yeah like well I always wanted it done and the person that I was close to was the person that invented it luckily so um, yeah, I got it, would only ever have trusted him to do it, um, but yeah, I couldn't, like, I, I wouldn't want to do a touch-up or anything, I'd, I would do if I needed yeah. it, but if I was just for the hell of it, let's do it again, I'd be like, nah, yeah. but if it was like, I recut bits of my face just for the sake of it, because I wanted to experience it again, but right. the eyes for me... I ticked it off the list and I'm really happy with the end result but I don't feel like I would want to go through that process again because for me it was really hard. It's like you're doing extreme sports but with your body so I guess you've done that one. Yeah, it was I kind know. of scary but you enjoyed it but you don't need to repeat yeah. it. And I feel like that if I can 
get myself through a stressful situation like that mentally than I can do with anything. And I really wanted to get it done, so it's mind over matter. And I'm like, I wouldn't have changed it with in the world. And if I woke up tomorrow with white eyes, I'd do it again. Yeah. 100%. It's just part of you now, isn't it, I guess? Yeah, I wouldn't feel right without them. Yeah. Now, lastly, about... What is the technical name about... It's a scarification. Right. So it's just, um, they remove the skin with a blade, mm. um, a surgical blade, and they just cut and peel it out. Um, and that's it. And then the purple is just, we use the same ink for my eyes. After it had healed, we tattooed over it. Okay. Yeah. And okay. a little dot here as well. I don't know if you can see. So is that kind of, I know this sounds weird, but that kind of nice pain, that satisfying pain when you have it done, or is it, like, what's it feel like? Is it... Or is it just horrible pain? For me, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah like, um, I really enjoyed all my cutting experiences. They are really personal to me. Mm. Um, and, yeah, they're just, like, some really precious memories, I guess, that I'll always hold. Question, But is there anything about you that you think people wouldn't guess about you or a misconception people have about you or some secret that would make people go, oh, I didn't think she'd be like that? I went to the Royal Ballet School. There we go. I did ballet. Still do yeah. the I did ballet for like sixteen years. Wow. That's kind of a when people I've told a few of my customers before that I was in the Royal Ballet and they were like <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not looking like this. But yeah, I was a ballerina once upon a time. And why did you stop? Was there an injury or did you Yeah there was. Yeah. Good guess. I dislocated my hip and I couldn't be the prima ballerina anymore. So I had a little bit of a teenage strop and was like Fuck <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything's worked out though, isn't yeah, it? Everything, everything happens for a reason. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice way to end it. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>